Hey guys, what is up? My name is Alan and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're going to be checking out and practicing for Drift Masters Virtual Championship Round 1. So for any of you wondering, Drift Masters European Championship is a real-life drift series uh, based in Europe. Now of course, Drift Masters being the series that it is, it is the top level of drifting in Europe and potentially even around the world. Now of course, the Virtual Championship, we will not have all of those real-life drivers. And so it only makes sense for them to draft in a bunch of uh, sim drifters and give them the grand prize of, I think, drift drifting with Peter Wenzek. So maybe I should start driving and kind of do some talking at the same time and whilst also showing you some bits of the track that I think you guys should look out for. So before we go anywhere, let's check out the car we will be using and that is going to be the Prodif Academy S15. Now you guys would have seen this in the Virtual Championship and uh, yeah, we decided to transfer it over to Drift Masters Virtual Championship just because, well, this car is freaking a beast what's the point in changing something if it works perfectly i don't think it makes any sense changing it so we're doing pretty well with this in the free in the vdc championship why not use it for dmvc so uh i think i should probably put on my uh my little gamer protection steering wheel gloves and uh yeah let's do a few laps shall we all right so uh riga or bikernicki as the circuit is named but it's based in riga latvia uh, it's probably one of the most known uh, drift layouts in the world as probably one of the most popularized by drift masters and I suppose actually HGK challenge drift but the track layout is actually super super tricky and super dangerous uh, you got fast transitions you got high speed uh, yeah you got crazy bumps you got mad walls it's what well, it's got the it's the type, it's the type of track that has a bit of everything really uh, so for drivers this is even intimidating for us sim drivers who actually don't get hurt at all in the whole drifting side of things. So the most difficult part in this track layout is actually going to be the initiation. The initiation is the most important part of this layout. Uh, you have to be, it's important to be outside wide here on this zone, transition through the outer clip here into the inner one, out to the outer. And surprisingly enough, that initiation point sets you up beautifully to this point right here. Mess up the initiation and it's like a domino effect. It messes you up all the way throughout the course. It's also important to be kind of close to the wall here and carry a really good angle when running this wall at the very end. The reason being is that, well, first of all, that's the last thing that the judges get to see. And if you're shortcut an angle or you're not really putting the bumper and scraping along the wall, uh, the judges think you're kind of pussing out essentially. Fucking pussy! Now, this track layout is probably the favorite of many drifters around the world or well the drifters that have actually com competed on it in real life. Now for me personally it's probably not really my favorite. In, per in my opinion I think it's slightly overhyped. That could be because maybe I've never driven it in the real world. Uh, it's probably one of the only track layouts I've never driven and kind of wish that I would love to drive but in the same it doesn't really give me that satisfaction of difficulty compared to other drift layouts in the game. Uh, it's one of those track layouts that yes to get a chase run is quite difficult and but because of that it is quite rewarding um, It is a track layout that is kind of won on the lead run and for me personally I find that this track is kind of easy to do a pretty decent lead run now Of course, that is all personal opinion Some people would say that well this track is actually very you know hard to do a good lead run It's easy for them to chase so at the end of the day I think it's kind of all personal opinion so drift masters virtual championship what to expect well first of all we actually qualify on Saturday, this Saturday, the 30th of January. Is that where the month we're in? Yeah, we're in January. So, 30th of January, we actually qualify early on in the morning. That sets us up for our top 32 bracket. Now, you guys might be wondering how many drivers are doing it. Well, actually, there's 24 sim drivers and 8 real life drivers. Uh, and you boy here is one of the 8 real drivers. Therefore, there is another 7 real drivers plus 24 sim guys. Now the sim guys, well, they have completed a previous qualifying session to be able to get to this point. And the 24 guys that are remaining, or that the first 24 guys, only eight of them will get the chance or the opportunity to compete in their very final round, round five. So to finish top eight as a sim driver means you qualify for the final rounds. So it's not necessarily a proper championship. It's kind of a little bit confusing to kind of explain but essentially the top eight sim drivers from each of the four rounds essentially qualify to be able to compete in the final round to get the grand prize of drifting with Peter Vincek and money, I suppose, as well. 
So, including the other seven real drivers, there are myself, okay, Alan Hines, pro drift driver from, uh, or professional drift driver from Pro Drift Academy with my Pro Drift Academy S14, you know. Uh, I don't know who he is, but he's, I heard that he's a great guy. He's a really nice guy and uh, he's a very good drifter as well. I love sliding cars around corners. That's Alan Hines, anyway. Yeah, he's very good. Uh, we, who else have we got? Oh, we've got Connor Shannon. Some of you guys might know him as the Red Bull Athletes. Uh, we've got Martin Richards from the UK. We've got... Uh, who else is there? There's someone else. There's more people. I'm forgetting lots of people. Uh, Sebastian Fonten. Some of you guys might know him as the uh, Dutch driver with the BMW E36. Uh, you would have seen him over in Omen, where we uh, battled him several times. Uh, you, we've also got uh, Mr... Adam Zalveski, you might know him as the yellow GT86 driver in Drift Masters. And oh, yeah, I was forgetting two other people. It took me two seconds to find out who they are. Uh, Peter Vincek, some of you might know him as that guy that drifted with James Dean. Uh, the Warthouse guy, was he the guy, the Polish guy? I can't remember who he is. No, we know who he is. <laughs> Mr. Peter Vincek. Uh, I suppose maybe ex Formula E driver. I don't know. Maybe he still is the current FD driver. But uh, teammates or ex teammates with James Dean of the Warthouse Drift Team. And we've also got finally uh, Tor Arnakavia, who will be the last driver competing as a real driver for this real round series. Now, I do believe there is another real life driver to be announced, but I'm not sure if that's been confirmed yet or not. Uh, in the sim driver category, there is a vast variety of sim drifters. Um, yeah, ranging from. VDC commentator Craig Fulgram to many other people too. So that should be a very, very interesting uh, yeah, round of qualification for those guys. So guys, put down in the comment section below who you would like to win Drift Master Virtual Championship and who do you think is going to win the final round at the end of the season? Of course, that's kind of big for those guys because they will get the opportunity to be able to drive with Peter Weinzek. Also put down in the comments, is Riga your favorite drift track to watch or to spectate or is it not? Either way, we'll see you guys Saturday uh, at 4.30 p.m. GMT for the live stream. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys very soon. I suppose after the event, we'll do a video review on it. See you guys.